Some people just can't stay away from crime. They eat crime, they drink crime, and in short, they live a life of crime. One of such people is NBA Youngboy. The young rapper just can't stop himself from committing crimes and getting arrested over and over again. Could these crimes finally be catching up with him and be putting an end to his career? Before we dive into this topic, make sure you watch until the end, as you won't want to miss what we have to show you in today's video. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click that notification bell to be notified of all future content and comment on this video to be entered in our iPhone 10 giveaway. Born on the 20th of October, 1999, the rapper has made an incredible name for himself in the rap scene. Unfortunately, the rap scene is not the only place where he is popularly known. He seems quite popular with the police also. Born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the rapper was given the name Kentrell Deshaun Galden by his parents. But he's since gone on to use NBA Youngboy as his stage name. He's recently been using Youngboy Never Broke Again or simply Youngboy. Youngboy for most of his life grew up without the presence of his father due to his father being sentenced to 55 years in prison. As a result of his father's incarceration, he was raised by his grandmother. He had a torrid upbringing, which revolved around a lot of criminal activities. When he was in the ninth grade, young boy dropped out of school to focus on his music. However, his plan to focus on his music would not go as planned, as he got arrested for robbery. This would be his first arrest, and he was sent to a detention center. Not one to allow anything to hold him back, while in detention, he started writing lyrics for his debut project. On his release from the detention center, his grandmother died, and young boy moved in with NBA 3, his friend. It was during this time that he started to visit the studio to record some of his songs. Young boy and his friend used different acts of criminality to raise money for studio time. His first mixtape, Life Before Fame, was released in 2015. It was a successful mixtape, and he was only 16 years old at that time. He followed his first mixtape with the Mind of a Menace trilogies, another successful project. He started to attract a huge number of followings, and his fan base started to grow tremendously. However, young boy is never the type to avoid controversies. His whole existence seems to be a controversy. He got an A song for song rap beef with another rapper from his hood, Scotty Kane, and the songs from both rappers included death threats. This feud brought him a lot of attention and also spiraled his already increasing popularity. In December 2016, while enjoying a lot of recognition for his talent and hard work, he was arrested in Austin, Texas for an attempted murder case. It's unbelievable. But who gets themselves in a murder case when they have their career taking off? The one and only NBA young boy. Again, being someone that will not be held back by his circumstances, he continued to drop hit songs and raise the bar even behind bars. While in jail, he released two mixtapes. In May 2017, he took a plea deal and he was released. Immediately after his release, he started collaborating with popular names in the industry focusing on his music. Trouble soon came knocking again in 2018. On the 24th of February, he was arrested. He was arrested for committing acts of assault, weapons violation, and kidnapping. This came after he got into a fight with his girlfriend and he physically assaulted her. On the 15th of March, 2018, he was released from prison after meeting a $75,000 bail. Again, on the 11th of February, 2019, Young boy and star Thigpen, who is one of his baby mamas, were arrested for the possession of marijuana and the assault of a housekeeping staff. Three days later, they were released on bail. The most interesting thing about Young Boy is that he never learns his lessons and he never takes caution. On April 7, 2019, Young Boy was charged for the possession of marijuana and disorderly conduct. Barely a month later, on the 13th of May, he was the target of a shooting, and the result of that was his bodyguards chasing down the shooter, and in the process, killing an innocent bystander and leaving a five-year-old kid grazed. This time, he got lucky. Neither young boy nor his entourage was charged, but he's not the kind of person to stay lucky forever, is he? Four days after the shooting, 
He was arrested and detained for suspicion of probation violation. He made a social media post after the shooting where he threatened to retaliate, a violation of his 2017 probation. He was kept behind bars for 30 days. For anyone, the legal battles are enough trouble to deal with. For young boy, it isn't. Herpes is another trouble for him. Yeah, you heard that right. Young boy has herpes, and he's been surprisingly open about it. He believes that with his decision to be open about it, no one can use it against him in the future. However, NBA young boy seems to be the one that will continue to be plagued by incessant controversies. You can't go online and see a post about him that isn't completely polluted by herpes comments. Even though he is truly a young boy of 19, he already has four kids from three women. We think it's time he considered changing his name to Young Daddy to capture his fatherhood status. With so much trouble plaguing his personal life, can Young Boy fully get to the potential that people expect of him in the rap industry? Another legal case may just be the end of his career forever. With a long list of crimes that Young Boy has trailing him, we're certain of one thing, he'll get into another controversy very soon. And we'll be here to give you the juicy gist. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for all updates and details on future topics.